All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another origin story. This time we are going with the Hobbit. This is one of my goofier looking characters, but I still like him. <laughs> Let's get it started, shall we? If you're wondering why my character looks this way, okay, so Hobbit in German is the name of a bird. Hobbit is a bird. So I was actually live streaming when I made this character, and uh, there were a couple of German people in the chat, and they're telling me that that he's a, he should look like a bird, and then I googled Hobbit, and we tried to make him look as Hobbit-like as possible, basically. All right, let's see what the Hobbit story is all about. Where am I? Those punks. Watch out! I'm sorry, Lewis. Eh, kids are all the same. No! Oh, snap! I wasn't expecting that. Please! <laughs> Save my child! Protect the villagers! Never back down! Where am I at? Class am I? Oh, I'm a guardian. I thought it was Paladin. Okay. Do the standard interface thing real quick. Did you just hit me, bro? Inside quickly. More I orcs can, will come. I can fight. Let me help you. Help? I can't. I can't put the villagers in danger. It's my duty as a knight to protect them. You don't remember me, do you? Come to think of it, aren't you that fellow I saw the other day? However, understood. I'll leave it to you. But remember, a love of vengeance won't keep your swordsmanship true. All right, I'm going to help. You have quite some skills. I am a bird. Iron protected zone. You fought far better than I expected. You've helped us a lot. Thank you. Why did the orcs invade us? They've always enjoyed destruction and slaughter. They hardly need a reason to attack a human village. Since the fortress collapsed, nowhere near here has been safe. The fortress collapsed? Yes, to my eternal shame. We were unable to hold the fortress. The damned Emperor conscripted most of our troops. 
It was impossible to stop the orcs with the few that remained. <laughs> Damn emperor. Is it strange to see a knight curse the emperor? The current emperor is hardly a rightful one. Hartman Adler is a usurper. He seized the throne by conspiracy and murder. Hmm, a usurper. When the Sun Emperor was killed in the War of the Falling Leaves, the Empire was thrown into a state of confusion. And Hartman, a maternal relative in the Imperial House, was able to seize the throne. He has brutally suppressed all opposition with lethal force. I see, and he took troops from the fortress. Yes, he's conscripted troops from all over. Not just here, but also the border areas, where they were playing a crucial role in our defense. He put the territory and the people of the Empire in danger to protect his cowardly self. How could I recognize him as Emperor? Do you want to raise a rebellion? Rebellion? By a mere knight like me? I'm just fulfilling a knight's duty, now that I've been deserted by my Emperor, to protect the land and people of the Empire from foreign enemies. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, this is really weird. I haven't had these crashes before. I haven't had these kind of crashes before. Huh. Let me try to get back in the game real quick. Trying to, I'm, I'm trying to think of what sort of solution I could maybe come up with to prevent these crashes. That didn't happen at all uh, on day one, yesterday. Had zero crashes. Hmm. Maybe I should go into the config files and change some stuff up. Sorry, I know the uh, professional thing to do would be to cut the recording here and uh, start a new recording once I got in the game. But basically, once I cut a, re a recording, that means that I have to do twice as much encoding. No, not twice, three times as much encoding, actually. Because, first of all, I, I, I record in a MKV uh, file format. And in order to edit videos, my videos, I don't have a video editor that can edit MKVs. So first of all, then once I have to splice videos together, first I have to encode them, re-encode them as MP4, and then I have to re-encode them a third time once but once I splice them together. So if I can avoid it, I would pr I prefer not to <laughs> have to use multiple recordings. But we got back into the game pretty quick there. Let's just move on. This is the Hyrn Protected Zone. You fought far better than I expected. Okay, good. You've, they've always enjoyed Yes. Is it strange when the Sun Emperor Yes, he's conscripted troops from rebellion by a mere knight like me? I'm just fulfilling a knight's duty, now that I've been deserted by my emperor, to protect the land and people of the empire from foreign enemies. I see. Come back later. There's something I want to ask you. But for now, I must settle this mess somehow. I uh, will be back later then. A knight named Balian wants to meet you. 
I heard you fought alongside the soldiers when the orcs invaded. It seems that he wishes to take you as his squire, but be careful. Okay, well, why do I need to be careful? Well, frankly, a squire is just the assistant of a knight. They might say you can become a knight later, but I think it's impossible. It's a dangerous job. Okay, what makes it so dangerous? This place has become a battlefield thanks to the orcs. A squire is more likely to be stabbed than knighted. That knight, named Balian, he's looking for a human shield as well, right? He is protecting our village. Protect? Ha! He only ran away after he lost his fortress. Frankly, I don't understand why the soldiers have stayed in our village. All they do is eat our food. And maybe, right, maybe they're attracting the orcs. <laughs> well, how would they be attracting the orcs? Well, at least I think so. I reckon orcs would just pass by a small village in a mountain. But all the soldiers are doing is making us an interesting target. Huh. And what if the orcs do not pass by? Then we should run away, right? You should already know it. You fought the orcs, right? What good are soldiers if the orcs start an invasion in earnest? We just stopped the orcs. Because the orcs were outnumbered then. If the huge fortress at Lakeside was overrun, how could a tiny village stop them? Alright, I'll go meet this guy. It's up to you, but don't do anything stupid. Think of your civilians. It's a soldier's job to die protecting us. We only want to live quietly in this village. Ah, so naive. Welcome. I was looking for you. Thank you for fighting alongside me at our last battle. And I was just repaying your kindness. I'm so sorry for your recent unfortunate situation. If I'd been quicker, I could have saved more people. I feel responsible for what happened. I survived thanks to you. So I want to offer you something. Why don't you become my squire? You can learn chivalry. And you won't have to put up with prejudice like that anymore. Mm, why should I need to be a squire? As you already know, becoming a squire is vital training for becoming a knight. I can't guarantee that you'll achieve knighthood, even after your training as my squire. Then what's in it for me, then? As you may have guessed, I am on bad terms with the false emperor. I can train you and teach chivalry, but it might be hard for me to request your appointment as a knight. Then why ask me to be your squire? However, I think you have what it takes. You have the qualities of knighthood, regardless of official appointment. I've been looking for a squire with such qualities. Okay, what qualities are you referring to? Bravery, honor, devotion. These are the virtues of true chivalry. If you want to become one of the Emperor's false knights, becoming my squire will not help you. But if you want to become a true knight who knows true chivalry, I will teach you with my whole heart. All right, I suppose. Show this recommendation letter to Grants and complete his mission. That's all you need to do to be my squire. I want to take this moment to point out, like at the very start of this uh, little story, I think this is the first one so far, they kind of hinted at um, my character's background. Um, you know, when he said, you don't remember me, do you? Um, basically, they were kind of hinting that... Uh, that basically my character and Bailey and Bulwark work had uh, met before and it seemed like Balian had saved my character's life during an orc attack and it sounded like that they probably might have killed some of my loved, wo loved ones as he mentioned that something about vengeance um, so that's, I found that kind of interesting that they actually gave some insight into my character's background. 
I think that's the first time they've done that in any of these uh, character stories. Anyway, moving on. Let's do it. Whoever, uh, whoever's playing this character likes likes that back, right? <laughs> All right, let's uh, try to pay more attention to the landscape instead of the uh, ranger running in front of us. funny there's like so many German words in this area please don't crash I wonder what's causing that all right so in this okay. second this time for uh, part time for of uh, this video that's coming stop. up um, and uh, somehow time for me to figure out what's going sorry on this here. probably sounds really confusing right now sorry about this guys I'll be back <laughs> I'll wait for me to stop talking Okay, okay, so in this second part right here, um, something happened with the, uh, the voice file. Uh, so we only have game sound, so I'm gonna attempt to dub over and, uh, I guess re say what I already said. <laughs> there was one interesting thing I said at one point that I, I hope I remember when we get to that point. But yeah, okay, let's uh, just act like we're playing this like normal, huh? But yeah, I think there was actually like two hours between the first part of that video where I just crashed right there, and then I went and made some changes to the config file and stuff, and... This is the higher and protected zone. This this one went very well. Uh, other than the this was then an OBS issue that What's caused it. What's a villager you? doing here? Go back to the village. This is no place for you. But I have this letter of recommendation. What's the, a letter from Balian? A recommendation? What does he mean by this? Look at you, a mere country boy. Problem? Of course, there's a problem. Are you really going to serve Balian? Oh my, you have no idea who Balian is. Uh, bro, just write me the recommendation letter. I don't understand. I usually give a letter of recommendation when someone asks me. But this is for Balian. I won't write for you on word of mouth alone. Mm, what would you suggest I do then? You must prove yourself before you can serve Balian. What a coincidence. The orcs have taken the villagers away. If you save the villagers by yourself, then I admit that you will deserve the letter. Does this happen often? I must have been through this ten times or more since I've been here. The number of injured soldiers outnumbers the rescued villagers. Why don't you have any plans? I won't deny it, if you're going to point fingers. It's impossible to clear their den with this number of soldiers. What? Well, nothing's impossible. If we go to clear the orc den, the village won't have any troops left to defend it. And if we attack their den, the orcs will ravage the village while we are distracted. All right, bro. I'll take care of it. Take care of it on my own. You lazy bastard. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, that was in. And the, the, during the second recording, an OBS issue, uh, I guess, popped up and uh, we lost the whole. Please select a valid target. 
That's the whole uh, really microphone here. track. I was sure I'd die. Thank Let's you. Let's go then. You're really here to save us? Thank you. Thank you so much. Follow me. Right, unfortunately, we're only able to bring one at a time. Thank you. Hmm, I think this is about the time where I pointed out that it seems like with the humans, the voice acting quality. You are really here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Maybe not the voice. Not particularly the voice acting quality, but the uh, the quality of the sound, the recorded voices that they've used in this game for the thank you for the humans have is like just yeah not not very good compared to all the other races like all the other races that we've done so far um, have had very. Decent, good voice acting, but Amistad, the, f the first human race that we played on the Union side, the voice acting and the voice sound quality was pretty bad, and also now for Hobbit. So I wonder if there was someone who was in charge of this the human the zone. race voices that uh, didn't do their job so well. Well, I'll be. You really have saved those people. I thought you'd run away as soon as you saw the orcs. Now I understand why Balian is taking you under his wing. How did it go? Here, take your recommendation letter. And thank you. My apologies for being rude before. I have nothing but respect for Balian. It's alright, I forgive you. So, how was the mission from Grants? Easy? I completed it successfully. Haha, <laughs> just as I thought. I knew you'd find it easy. Here. This is a token to prove you are my squire. Much appreciated. Now do something for me, as my squire. I want you to visit the defensive base. I think there's some kind of problem there. Please survey it and let me know. Uh, what defensive base? We recently base? built up a defensive base on the outskirts of the village. It's a crucial position to prevent invasion by orcs. It will be hard to protect the village if we lose it. What has happened there? Though there's no official report yet, there are rumors of a monster. It may be related to the accident. Hmm. I shall Take this leave letter. now. The guards at the defensive base won't let you in without it. But you can prove that you are my squire. Alright. I will... finish this mission as quickly as possible. Put this armor on real quick. seen you before what made you come to our base we're in a tough situation here we're not really open to visitors Balian sent me oh you're Balian squire if you've come here to help then I'm thankful for it as you can see this fortification is in a mess what's happened here a giant creature swooped down from the sky destroyed our fences and then disappeared Fortunately, no one was hurt, but we must find out what it was. Why are you so curious about it? We have to find out whether that thing is related to the orc attacks. 
This place was constructed to protect against orcs attacking on the ground. But if they start to attack us from the sky, <laughs> what then? Well, what will you do? Well, I don't have a real answer for that. I guess we'll stick spears in the ground and hope the orcs fall on them. But whatever happens, I'll never abandon the village. I like it. I'll investigate. I like your loyalty. Stop it! Whoa, whoa! I'm sorry if he surprised you. He's not harming anyone, so relax. Um, yeah. So you're gonna sit there and act like you didn't put him up to that? <laughs> I apologize if he surprised you. But it'll make the conversation easier. Someone who has been frightened by a griffin then usually feels comparatively less frightened by me. Good hmm. point. My name is Matthias. The full name is Matthias Hobbit. I heard there was a knight called Bailey in here. Is this true? Um. See, you know, I don't really know you that well, and uh, Balin said he's having problems with his relationship with the Empire, so I'm not really too keen on, you know, just, I mean, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't give him up right away normally, but uh, I, um, hmm. yeah. I'm in the right place, then. Hmm. The great Balin is a knight exiled to this countryside. He must have been hated by the Pretender Emperor. The Usurper? Haven't you heard this story before? Ha! <laughs> That's why the name Hobbit did not surprise you. This place is the real countryside. And who is Hobbit? It was originally the name of this country. But now, Adler is the Emperor. Not a Hobbit. Well, I was not. Born to the correct mother, let's say. So I never had a chance of being a king. Hmm. And what, what would you say you do here? I'm here to find Knight Bailey, once the vice captain of the Imperial Knights. For the record, I was the captain back then. Which is all I can divulge for the time being. Anyway, I must see Bailey. Alright, I don't have much of a choice see to you trust around. you, do I? Let's take that big ass pole arm in my face if I say otherwise. This is the Iron Protected Zone. I gotta say again, like I don't know how. I wish I had some comparison, but this looks so much better than the Japanese version. I heard from Matthias. The soldiers seemed surprised by the griffin, but Matthias found me easily thanks to your hard work. What is he doing here? Matthias came here to recruit me. The two of us can fight together once again. Uh, if you say Rest so. Rest yourself. I have something to discuss with Matthias. I'll call you if I need you. Okay, you got my number? It's not your fault that the village is in danger. The fortress was invaded because Hartman summoned too many soldiers away, wasn't it? <laughs> no one will blame you if you just leave. Um, just leave? What do you mean? Why would Matthias, we just... Matthias, this is my squire. If I go with you, this man will accompany us. Only if we get rid of the orc chieftain. Wait, um, what, what, what do you mean? I have accepted Matthias' request. I will leave my post in this village. I know you are bound to accompany me as my squire, but 
follow me after you've finished your duty to the village. And what about your duty? I used to be a general of the Turtle Lake Fortress. It is my fault that the orcs were not stopped. I can't leave this village in danger of an orc attack. And what will you do now? My plan is to go into the ruins of the ancient fortress alone and confront the orc chieftain. If I get rid of their chieftain, the orcs will turn on each other or flee. Then this village will be easily protected with the remaining soldiers. All right. All right. Wait. You want to go with me? Hmm. All right. I suppose this would be a good time to continue your training. Don't worry about your safety. I will protect you. Will Matthias be coming with us? I truly want to help Balian, but I can't. I took an oath, and there is a duty I must fulfill. I can't risk my life for anything else. All right, then what is our mission? I must return the throne to the rightful one who should be seated there. Oh, his and rebuild mission. a country that has been destroyed by this pretender emperor. For now, all I can do for you is help you escape. Escape? What do we need to, to escape from exactly? Is it... I mean, we don't really have much to... Even if you succeed in getting rid of the orc chieftain, it won't be easy to escape from hordes of orcs. Wait oh, at the top point. of the fortress. I'll be there with the griffin. Alright, you make a very good point there. Thank you. Actually, I should do that. I, sh I, think, I'll, I think I will do that. Maybe I'll go into, like... I'll go redo these quests on the Japan servers, and then do a second uh, run through on these servers, and have a side-by-side -side comparison of the video. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just gonna go straight for your chief. Don't worry about it. There you are. If you're ready, let's go. All right, ready. let's make haste and depart for the fortress. Let's do it. Nice, nice. The orcs are swarming in. Hold them off while I open the door. Don't worry about it, bro. I got this. Give me these. Give me all this junk. Give me all that junk. I'll sell all your junk. Thank you. I promised to protect you. But in the end, you protected me. I clearly chose the right squire. Your bravery is truly incredible. In my eyes, you are already a knight. You flatter me. But the orc chieftain remains hidden. There are far more orcs on guard than I'd expected. Without miraculous luck, we would be overwhelmed. Attacking them is pointless. Uh, what are you suggesting we do then? It's like... I regret to say it. But we should admit defeat and escape while we have the chance. I have already agreed on an escape plan with Matthias. When we reach the top of the fortress, a griffin will be waiting to carry us away. Wait, what? Like, wait, 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 wait. First of all, there's like nobody here right now. Second of all, you were just talking earlier about how you swore to protect this village and you won't leave this village uh, with the threat of the orcs. And now you're telling me you have some plan just to go to the top and ditch the whole village? Let's climb up quickly. What? See, that's 
far too many orcs? What do you mean? We're almost there. I'm starting to believe we'll be that a little further. that one kid that that was saying that uh, Balian just ran away after he lost his fortress. Hmm. Almost there. Damn. Sucker punched the shit out of me. Ooh. Get Jamie Lannister. That's what you get for making such a cowardly plan. Sorry, I got this. Guardian just seems so strong, at least starting out. Try, right, bro. We'll get you one of those gold hands, you know, like Jamie has. You'll be fine. There's no way out. Glad that it's not too late. I think it's a little late. Then we find this is the gold hand man. Zone. How are you? Do you feel better? I never imagined the orc chieftain could be a monster such as that. Well, you defeated it. I suppose that makes you an even greater monster. <laughs> Uh, well, how's Balian holding up he here? He will survive, but he won't take up a sword again. It's a tragedy. A knight like him, unable to fight any longer. Go talk to him. I'll be here resting. All right, I'll do that. <sighs> I'm barely equal to fighting one orc. Never mind many. I'm getting old. I can't fulfill my promise to Matthias like this. Um, it really was not my fault, but I'm still sorry. Don't feel guilty. Protecting one squire is the duty of a knight. Sacrificing an arm to save your life, I'd say it's a good deal. What was the promise you made with Matthias? I swore to expel Hartman Adler from the throne and help Victor, the legitimate successor, regain his empire. If all had gone according to plan, by now we'd be on the road to Hiracon. That sounds like a pretty big deal. Yes, you were always a part of my plan. And now, I want you to finish that plan by yourself, as my squire. Um, well, I guess I knew that it. would be your answer. At least I'm lucky enough to have a good successor. <laughs> Meet Matthias and tell him what we've learned. All right, I guess I've got nothing better to do. You, uh, take care of that hand. I don't know if you're just trying to, like, shove it back on there. I don't think that's going to work. But, uh,. Yeah, go with the gold thing. It's like unfortunate Jamie. that Balian was hurt, but I can't delay my mission any further. I must return to Hirakon. Balian said that I should go with you. I don't Did know you why say though. you'll follow me instead of Balian? That means Balian accepted you as his successor. I suppose he must have planned this from the beginning. He was huh. different somehow, even before he was wounded. I'd say he's lost his taste for war. It's a common thing that happens to knights, especially ones as brave as he is. Hmm, I don't really understand. It's natural that you don't understand. You will someday. If you've made up your mind, 
There is no need to delay any further. I'll prepare a wyvern for you to take your leave. All right. So let's uh, take a little ride, see if these config changes had a no time. good effect on you the performance. The mentioned. I've been waiting for you. Let me know when you're ready. I'm and ready, let's go. Hiracon. Off, up, up, and away we go to Hiracon. Still need to figure out some way to get an FPS counter on my game. I don't want to use GeForce Experience. I don't want to install GeForce Experience, period. Uh, I don't really want to install anything, to be honest. Apparently Steam Overlay can do it somehow, but I'm not sure how to make that work. Well, so far, wow, like, FPS, everything's loading straight away. Directly on the flying mount, directly into the city. Pretty smooth, going in for a smooth landing. PCs all loading almost instantly, NPCs loading instantly. Yeah, maybe the uh, those config changes might have made a big, had a big impact. Did you get the horse? Get used to riding it, and fast. The capital is a large place. You'll find the going easier with a steed. I did get the horse, thank you. This is Hirakon, capital of the Hobbit Empire. I wish I could give you a tour, but I'm afraid I can't. The Grandezas must be monitoring us from somewhere. The Grandezas? The Grandezas are an infamous assassin group led by the False Emperor. They have been busy enforcing the rule of the Emperor with blade and blood, though the Emperor denies their existence, of course. Why are they watching Everyone you? Everyone knows I am loyal to no one but Crown Prince Victor. Now that there is a rumor spreading that the Crown Prince has returned, Hartman will naturally have concerns about me. And then uh, our first, first mission all, is... We must prove the Emperor has been instructing the Grandezas from the shadows. This will cause the nobles to turn against the Emperor. It means we're one step closer to our Crown Prince regaining his throne. Hmm, if that were to happen... If the Crown Prince regains his throne, Turtle Lake, your home, doesn't have to worry about its safety anymore. So I want you to do me a favor. Yes, what's the favor? Just deliver a letter to two people. Both have tried to restore the Crown Prince Victor. One is Leone, Princess of the Empire, and the other is Severus, the former Prime Minister. I'll do it. My Princess Leone usually goes to church to pray around this time. Severus will be in his mansion in the Noble District. I can't do it myself because so many people will recognize me. I need your help. Who is Princess Leone? Right. Leone was a daughter of a noble family named Lauren, but she was adopted by Hartman after suddenly losing both parents in an accident. It's a complicated story. But in short, you can trust her. All right. All right, guys, thank you for watching this Hobbit part of the story. Um, check me out, twitch.tv slash five miles. Subscribe and follow and all that jazz. And see you for the next one. Which will probably be the Sylvan Elf story. Peace.